and Jean Serge Gagnon here show do you have a course you have an online course that you think you're not getting enough sales on and maybe people are visiting your course and they're just moving away they don't it's, what if you could have a bot ask them hey don't go away and have them give them an offer give them a some sort of coupon for them to, to stick around right what if you could do that wouldn't that be so cool I think that's anyways I think that's so cool and I'm going to show you how to do that right now with your bot but but before we go there don't forget to subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube and if you're watching on Facebook of course like I'd like comment and if you're watching the live go ahead and comment I'd love to hear where you're watching from and what is the course that you have that you're trying to get a bot on there or that you're thinking maybe a bot would be cool all right so we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so you have a course and you're looking for ways to get even more conversions even more sales on it so you've been you've been doing the copy you've been sending out the email list you've been you've been promoting in Facebook and social media you've been doing all this but you're just not getting all the sales that really you should be getting and the next thing that you can do is use a chatbot I think the chatbot are one of the things that are really taking off right now people are getting more used to them they're getting ex they're almost expecting them to be there so that they can you know at least get things going and it's it's a new technology that's well it's been around for a while but it's really getting the it getting traction right now and let's just let me just show you my my screen here just show you what I mean um let's just go here desktop what, what happened to my my that's my screen of course you can see my screen I hope you can see yeah you can should still be able to hear me but I'm there it is okay <laughs> sorry I was looking for my I use a software called OBS I was looking for my my scene that had this the webcam and the desktop so let's say you have a course let's uh, let's just uh, make this a little bit more so you got a course you got a or maybe you have a bunch of courses like me I have a bunch of courses right and the thing is that um, if you can see down the bottom there I've got a chat bot now on the site that pops up if you're navigating around the site now the way you can set it up you can have it so that it's, it's a different conversation depending on what what page they're on depending on, depending on which course they're on so for example if you go to the if you go to the TikTok masters course right here you can see uh, there's a chat bot down there right and whoops you can't see it sorry let me just go over here fix that so you can see there's a chat bot down there that shows up and I can you know I can open it up and I can have a conversation with it and it will tell me you know it's going to be specific to this course uh and it's going to ask somebody do you have time for a chat I'm going to say yeah sure and then it's going to ask me in the, and the conversation is whatever you want it to be right right now it's actually actually I didn't finish this this chat bot, but it should be continuing the conversation that's it's not nothing to do with software it's just I didn't finish this chat bot but if I try to go away on the page I try to leave now I get a pop-up that says hey no no don't leave yet uh what if I sweeten the deal how does a 60 percent off sound right I'm gonna say oh for sure and then it'll give me the coupon and it'll tell me how to use it what to do and it'll give me the details of what I need to do now obviously depending on what platform you're on and it could be different but with Click eCourse all it is is we can just have them go to this link and now it shows them the price of the course uh, with the the price of the course with the coupon applied right as you can see right there 78 instead of 197 right so that's one way of uh and uh, that's one thing you can do with the chatbots right you can have it and you can make it so that it's different for every single course if you want or you can have the same coupon on every course and you just have it make it simpler like this so we're going to do a chatbot for this course right now LinkedIn this is just one of my courses I have LinkedIn connection growth secret it's 150 but if you 
if we want we can probably offer a coupon to people and there could be there could be even a there's lots of different ways you can do it right you can make a price like let's say for for example let's just go here to the okay right here let's just go to this course I'm just that was an incognito window I'm just going to give myself I'm just going to put a deal on this I'm going to put a deal here I'm going to say it's a hundred dollars and it's on from the 20th to the 31st all right so now if I uh, oh actually this is the edit the the creators page let's go back to this page here if I reload this now it's going to show me oh that's that's great that didn't work <laughs> but the price should be uh one one nine one nine nine or 100 instead did that not work active oh it's not active yet that's why uh, let's give a let's give us another deal here of 100 and we'll make it starting on the 19th going to the 31st there we go make it 100 there we go okay so I should have uh, deleted the other one but anyways let's just go back to here reload there it's still not working uh anyways I'm sorry about that that's the that's the the curse of the programmer right we do things we think everything's working and we're ready and of course when we do a live when we do something we're showing somebody else it's not working but the point is that you would have a hundred dollar deal right now right you would have a hundred dollar deal so a, a price a, a special that's going on for just a certain number of days you got the urgency set in there and you got that set up and then you want to have something that if they try to navigate away it'll it'll give them maybe a better deal right instead of instead of a hundred dollars it would be maybe 90 or maybe 75 or whatever you think right whatever you think is going to take to get that customer right so how do you do that how do you do these bots so it's pretty straightforward pretty simple what we're going to do we're going to go to the myconversionbot.com so you go to myconversionbot.com let me just uh, put that in here so you just go to myconversiobot.com you're going to be able to um, find the, this is a this is the tool I'm using here anyways you just go there to to find out about it but it's really super cheap it's 27 bucks right now I think uh, for the deal and actually let's go to that let's just show you right now well let's not even worry about that right let me just show you how you use it you'll you'll see how cool it is so I'm going to create a new folder I'm going to call this uh, LinkedIn LinkedIn course whoops because I want to have more than one bot on this page I want to have the bot that shows up when they, they navigate to the page okay and then I'm going to create I'm going to go to that folder and I'm going to create a bot in this folder I'm going to call it um, main main LinkedIn course okay it's going to be into the LinkedIn folder all right so now I'm I'm creating a bot and this is this is the editor for the bot there's nothing really going on let me just remove that link just to not distract you so okay so this is the main page what we first do is we add a block and this will be the welcome block we're just going to say welcome and I'm going to say welcome to the LinkedIn connection growth sequence and then I'm just going to make this uh, zero because I want it to show up right away the first thing then I'm going to add another piece of text I'm going to say do you I'm always I kind of like doing that do you have a moment do you have time do you have time time for a quick chat so I'm just going to ask them that question because I don't want to go anywhere further they're they're busy they don't have time whatever I'm going to put a user response here which will be a button and all I do is is sure I just do sure I don't say yes or no I mean if they don't have time for a chat what's the point in, in, in getting them engaged I mean maybe you could do that I just feel like there's no real point I'm going to put a legal consent here I want to have the legal consent uh where is it it's down here legal I'm just going to use this drop the link put that in here just the legal consent page right okay so now I have a first welcome and I, I'm asking them a question of whether they have time for chat I'm going to add another block 
and this one's going to be great uh yes yes time okay so I'm going to say great great my name is Jean Serge and then I'm going to say add I'm going to say what's your whoops what's what's your name right so I'm just going to add a user response here I'm going to put their first name in there whoops that's not what I want a user response I'm going to put their first name as text I'm going to ask for their first name I'm going to make it a capitalize each word validation so that makes sure that they put in a name I'm going to save it and I'm going to connect this one to this one right so now I've got the first welcome and I got the first ask their name and I'm going to add another block I'm going to say got name now you're going to see why I'm doing this because I want to be able to in, uh, talk to them with their name right I'm going to say great to meet you and then I put their name I use placeholder here I copy their name <coughs> I put that in here and then I'm going to I'm going to ask them another question I can say have you have so for okay so here's the thing this is the main course page so they're on that page because they're interested in LinkedIn or they just landed there because they don't know anything about they're looking to grow their their fans right so I could go into this whole conversation about asking them do they know about LinkedIn do you do you know about uh um social media in general personal branding all this stuff I could ask them a bunch of questions and navigate down through all these 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 lanes of 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 responses and new questions based on their first questions and you can do all that it's super cool you can do all that but the point I want to bring here is just I want to have I want to show you how easy it is to create a bot that shows up when you first go to the page and then another bot that shows up when you try to exit the page so we're going to say I'm just going to say something here I'm going to say have you any questions on whoops on, on LinkedIn and then I'm just whoops that's questions questions I'm gonna use a response I'm gonna say to, uh, no button button I'm gonna add, I'm gonna say yes or I'm gonna say no so now this this works like this so basically now I have I'm asking them if they have any questions on LinkedIn and then down here I can reconnect this to this I can add another block and then this will be got question and then I'm going to say okay perfect uh use placeholder uh, no no perfect yeah I'm going to put their name again what's whoops what's your question and I'm going to put in here a response it'll be text and I'm going to make it a custom text I'm going to call it question one I'll just say question one in case I want to build something later uh okay let's just uh, no valid yeah validation means they got to fill in the field I say continue and then I'm going to save it I'm going to connect the first button to this and I'm going to add another block I'm going to say connect no I can connect them right away this one is no question right all right and the name again have you gotten the course yet so anyways I'm not gonna I'm gonna just save this right now like this we're just going to leave it like that that's going to be like this then I just click on the launch button up here <laughs> now I've got I've launched this bot there's there's design and settings and all these things we'll we'll cover that in a second I want to show you I want to create the other bot which is the one that's going to be on exit and we're going to tie them together so over here I go to my bots I create I go back to the folder just because it's going to be easier to see I'm going to create a new bot I'm going to call it on exit LinkedIn 
and I'm going to say the same folder again it's going to be built-in course create over here and then what happens is I'm going to add a block I'm going to say this is going to be oh no this is going to be pop up pop up I'm going to say oh no don't don't leave yet and then I'm going to make this again a zero second because I want it to show up right away as soon as a bot pops up and I'm going to say uh I'm actually let's add an image oh I still have to do a plus add okay an image under here I can put a gif or any, anything like that I'm going to just use gallery uh actually that's my gallery so let's use uh free stock images I'm going to say wait and see what comes up and oh I guess well anyways I guess I can just put that but there you can also put gifs and things from urls right you can you can uh, select a um, from url you can go to gliffy and find an image let's do that let's do that gliffy Gliffy.com is it I forget <coughs> that's not it so gif gif uh, creator I forget what it's called is it called giphy.com animated gif maker sure let's use this one. <coughs> oh no that's not what I want this creates gifs I want the free gif gif mimi gif mimi let's go what is it called giphy yeah that's the one okay okay so over here I'm just going to go into giphy and I'm going to say I want to search for let's say um wait and I'm just going to say wait wait here this one here there you go let's use this one let's use this one so now I just take take the url copy link go back I haven't even tried this from here but let's try it let's do this whoops did that not work copy the link it says it's broke oh gif link there put that here and then use this image there we go there so I'm going to put that right here don't leave actually this should be zero as well and maybe I put them up here put the image first don't leave yet wait there you go so now I have that actually I, I I probably should have I probably should uh <clears throat> so uh ask for for ask for okay actually you know what I'm not uh I'm gonna put that here I'm gonna say in this one I'm gonna say add And then user response I'm going to add a button I'm going to make and I'm just going to do that just like that legal consent as well it's going to be over here copy link oops copy link so now I put a legal I just like putting a legal consent right away the first button they press so that that they they're not going to say I didn't uh, warn them about you know but uh, cookies and stuff like that <coughs> so that's okay so now we have this one it's ask it's asking them if they have time and then I'm going to say yes yes time yes want want to know okay so okay great uh what if okay great so what if uh you could get this course for a crazy a crazy price like whoops like 
let's say 75 dollars um say bid at the I could I can only offer it while this chat is while while you 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 I'll offer it right now during the session if if you navigate away from this page you may never see this sweet deal again would you like to have a and I'm going to add a user response here I'm going to put the buttons again for sure and I'm just going to do that for now I'm just going to show you how it works so I'm going to save that so now we have a pop-up that says oh no don't wait and then to, uh, enticing them with a deal that's available right now while their session's alive and then over here I'm going to add the button another block I'm going to say fantastic yes yes one deal uh, okay fantastic by the way my name is from Serge and I created this course can I get your name <coughs> Uh, okay I'm gonna say I'll need I'll need whoops I'll need your name and email to send you the coupon <coughs> what is your name <coughs> okay I'm gonna add their thing here text it'll be first name <clears throat> validate there we go save it <clears throat> and then and add another block it's going to be ask email <clears throat> fantastic and their name is here I got their name right here what's your email <clears throat> and then I'm going to ask them again text it's going to be their email of course I'll validate it oh validation yes sir and that here I'm going to put the GDPR setting I'm going to put the same uh, I should probably have a different a different GDPR thing but let's just put that here like this <clears throat> I'm going to save that move that down here connect them all <coughs> whoops and then I'm going to add another block and I'm going to say dot email and I'm going to say great great sent you the coupon in your inbox um <clears throat> save uh let's just uh, add this in case you didn't get it real quick actually you know what I should probably be doing I should be saying great you're on the list you're on the list check your inbox inbox I'm actually going to change this so that I give them the coupon but I want to tell them I want their name and email to get on my list so the coupon the coupon is is 75 bucks you can type it in or click this link to access it 
so I'm going to go back to the course right the course here this is me I'm going to add a course I'm going to say I'm going to create a new coupon I'm going to say 75 bucks it's going to be 75 oops 75 75 submit it <coughs> and then now I can just go here this is the link and I'm going to paste it in here and there we go whoops <coughs> and then I'm going to put this whole thing here as a link there we go and oh with an s I'm going to make this bold as well so bold right here there we go all right so now I'm going to save this I'm just going to go back to the other one and this is their email and I'm going to show you kind of how that works so there you go and then over here I'm going to say I actually want to change that right to say I'll need your name email to send to because it's such a because it's such a great deal all I ask is to have your name and email to join my email list you can always unsubscribe later because it's such such it's such a great deal I all I ask is to have your name and email to join my email list okay save that <clears throat> okay so now I've got the two bots the exit bot and the other one I'm going to go to the settings over here we're almost we're almost done so I've got this and what I want to do in here is I want to have a sound I want the sound on I'm going to put the sound on all this <clears throat> and this one here I want to make it whenever I get the email I add them to my Aweber list just my introduction one and I'm going to save the bot I'm going to launch the bot the other oh you know what the other thing let's show you the design I can actually change the bots the the bot the way it works right now is that whenever it shows up it'll be like this right I can change it I can change all the colors everything right um I can actually change the background uh, let's make the message bubble the shape is good the bot bubble I'm gonna make him uh, make it more of a bluish like a Kind of like a LinkedIn color maybe there we go and make the text a little bit darker no that's not it anyways I'm just gonna make it darker here and then the user text I can make this slightly I don't know like this and the text is going to yeah that's fine okay and then the other thing I can do is I'm going to change the bot design I can change the actual uh, I can make him go on the left or on the right of the page right I want him on the on the left hand side and the text I can say help here help let's just say help just like that okay uh and then I want to put two in here make the number the two there uh, secondary to relate text uh takes it after what is closed all right Continue. okay and then I can make the bot a different a person right I can make it a picture of me if I want I actually I should do that I have a gallery here because it is me it's me right so I'm going to make this this guy here and the bot that shows up I'm going to make it oh this one doesn't really matter because it's the uh, on exit bot the on exit bot doesn't have a pre preload if you will the preload doesn't exist on the on exit bot so I'm going to go back to my other bot and I'm going to go to my LinkedIn course I'm going to edit the main one 
so the settings of the main one what I want to do is I want to make it on exit for the other one so I'm going to go the auto close chat bot uh, no that's not that one um, delayed bot uh, bot on exit I want to make this the on exit LinkedIn I'll save that I'm going to add sound as well to this one and save it again and let's go to the design over here uh, we're not going to change the colors we could probably change them in here too but I just want to change the bot to show you what that looks like I'm going to make this a gallery here I can make this this fella make this gallery here this one over here uh, oops this one here there we go and save and launch all right so now I have the bot created I just have to go add it to the uh, the page so over here I go and I get the bot id right here this bot id copy the clipboard I go back to my course I edit my course <coughs> and then I go to the header code and in there I'm going to put the bot id right there I'm going to stun and now I have the bot that says that's for this this course instead no oh, I guess that image should be uh well that's okay but anyways as you can see now the page shows up this spot here uh actually I forgot about this spot I want this one to say I forgot this one design this one should say but does the text no the bot design I want to just say help linked linked in help there LinkedIn help continue so I put the number on, <laughs> on on the other guy on the exit one right with the exit one doesn't show oh save and launch okay so now if I go to the incognito window the person that was visiting my site I reload this page now there's a bot down here that shows up if you can't see right there you see how it says LinkedIn help I can open that up and it's going to pop up the bot it's going to say welcome to the LinkedIn connection growth secrets do you have time for a quick chat sure and then it asks for my name I can say <clears throat> what's your name my name is Bob and then it says welcome nice to meet you Bob you know and then have you any questions for me and then then it goes on right so now I'm like you know what that's a, that's good I'm just going to close this and now I see this page I'm going to be like oh, I don't know this then I'm going to go exit and whoops look at that oh it says hey don't leave no 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 whoa 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 don't leave yet right Wah. and then it's going to say do you want a deal sure what's the deal and then I'm going to say well uh okay great what if I could get you this course for a crazy price of just 75 bucks that's 50 percent off I can offer it right now during then blah 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 and it has to be the session but then I need this sure I want to know about this and then you click it and then it'll it'll give you all the details and it'll tell you I need your 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 name and email I'm going to say Bob and then it's going to ask me for my email and then it's going to send me the email and give me the coupon so I'm going to say um okay Bob at fxos.com and then it's going to say great you're on the list the coupon is 75 bucks you can type it or click this link to access it I'm going to click the link it opens it up and now I have the coupon the course at 75 bucks it's as simple as that isn't that the coolest thing ever that you can do that and you can have a different bot for every single course so that way your uh, messages are specific to the course they're on you can ask some specific questions about that you can drive a conversation and everything it's really really cool I think that's so cool personally I really love it I'm going to be doing that for all my all the courses I have and I'm going to make sure that they're all you know have the bot that's there and it's all very very specific to the bot to the course and it's all about getting a bot on the course so hopefully you enjoyed this and if you have any questions don't forget you can reach out you can send me a message you can comment on this I would love to hear from you what course do you have what are you trying to accomplish and we'll see you in the next episode This has been Course Income Secrets! 
the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.